working on cup number one of my coffee not much left by the way I got this cleaned up I think I showed you in a video I might be doing this in the reverse but I had showed you in a video that this was getting so packed crowded so I'm working on trying to make this coffee bar a little bit better so at least I've got it decluttered but I still have to declutter up there I hate clutter anyway I wanted to show you when I was out yesterday with my sister and my mother, I found this little cookbook. These are my absolute favorite type of cookbooks to buy. So that says $5.95. I, I paid a dollar for it. But you can tell it's ancient. I don't know. Let's see. I say ancient. 1994. I don't know how ancient that is. But look at this. Is this not just perfect? I love these kind of little cookbooks where you can tell it's just probably good recipe after good recipe. So I don't know. I mean, anytime I can pick one up for a dollar, I do. The challenge, of course, in these older cookbooks, look, there's no nutritional value, but I don't care. I get inspiration from everything. So I'm just going to sit down and drink my coffee and kind of look through this a little bit. But yeah, I thought this was super cute. Here is my six carb breakfast. This is going to be so good. I'm really excited about this. I need a little pepper on it though. So I have one whole avocado and then these are those egg bites. They sell them at Starbucks, but I get mine at Sam's. They're way cheaper, obviously. And these are the ham and gruyere cheese ones. I love these. Actually, I love all of them. I like the roasted um, bell pepper ones as well. So anytime somebody gets nervous about fat, I like to take it as an opportunity here to show you. Is this higher in fat? Yes, it definitely is, but it's healthy fat. That's what I kind of really try to bring home to you guys is that when we're talking about fat we're not talking about like garbage fat we're talking about good healthy fats so this is very very low carb and this is going to keep me full for a really long time what I picked up. So this teriyaki veggies and sauce, this is new to me. So here is my plan. I won't count carbs in any of this because I don't count carbs in non-starchy vegetables. And it looks like that's what we have here. There's some carrots, but big deal. I'm not worried about a few carrots. I'm sorry for the noise in the background. Hopefully I'm talking loud enough over it. But there is a sauce packet in here and that's got a lot of sugar in it. So I won't use that. I will make my own sauce. Then I also picked up some apples for Kevin. He loves apples. I don't, I think I'm allergic to something in a raw apple because it always makes my ears itch really bad. It's super strange. Then this is the Parmesan cheese that I was telling you about. I love it. It is so, so, so good. I get the one that is grated. The carbs should be super low. Yeah, zero carbs in this, but that's by far my favorite. That's also really low in Weight Watchers points, by the way. Then I also picked up these small little sandwich grounds, the outer aisle. I always like these. Sometimes I can find them at Costco, but not always. Five grams of carbs on these. These are great to do in the air fryer. And I'll put anything on them. I'll put chicken on them with barbecue sauce. I'll put eggs on them with cheese. As long as they're in the air fryer and they're real crispy, they are so good. And this is the everything flavor. 
Yummy. Then I also got two jars of the organic tomato basil pasta sauce. This was $2.29. I don't know if you knew this, but if you're an Amazon Prime member, since Amazon owns Whole Foods, you get a discount on everything that qualifies, which is almost everything, through Prime. So if you were kind of shying away from Whole Foods because of the cost, you might want to reconsider that. All right, is that a six or an eight? I think it's a six, but it could be an eight. You're going to have to tell me on that. A half a cup for that. I really enjoy this sauce. It's good. It's just really, really easy, simple ingredients. When it's as cheap as it was today, it's not worth me making it. Then I also grabbed some onion rings. Kevin likes these in the air fryer. 30 grams of carbs for four pieces. Those are going to be out for me. It's no big deal. And then I have been a sweet potato fry addict here lately. I love them in the air fryer for a serving, which is about 12 of them. It is 20 grams of carbs which works for me. Remember, 30, 30, 30, 15 is how I eat. And then this is also new to me. Holy Veggie Ranch Cauliflower Wings. Now I think this is gonna be another one of those deals where you get the ranch dressing on the side and you just kind of toss it together. So I will use my own on that. But the carbs weren't bad to me. Six pieces for 18 grams of carbs. So I didn't think that was bad. I thought that I would do that maybe as an appetizer for a Super Bowl for myself while everybody else is having real wings, which I don't like anyway. Never, never, never do I eat those. I don't understand the point in them. I'm curious your thoughts. Do you eat wings? And if you do, why? Because don't you think there's like no meat on those? And you get like one bite of meat and then it's like coated in buffalo. I just, I don't get it. I don't get it. Drumsticks I get. Wings, I don't understand. Anyway, that's my little mini haul. Boy, if you've never seen the Bear Bells before, oh my gosh, they are so good. You know, I know a lot of protein bars claim that they taste like a candy bar. These really actually do. I love them. So you can get them at Trader Joe's if you have a Trader Joe's near you, or you can also get them on the website link that I'm going to leave you below. And I do have a discount. So if you go to Nutrition, I'll leave you my discount here. You can get 10% off, which is awesome. It takes them lower than what you can get them for at Trader Joe's. You know what? I'm going to take a bite. I don't want to eat with my mouth full, but Look how good. These are worth every penny of the cost. I show pork tenderloin that I do in a crock pot very, very often. And a lot of times I show it to you once I've shredded it or when it's completely done in the crock pot. And a few of you have said, can you show us start to finish we know you're explaining it, but can you just show us start to finish? So that's what I'm going to do. So I pulled this pork tenderloin out of the freezer and I just thawed it out. So this one, I always say this about when I buy meat, like chicken breasts or things like that. Unless it's ground beef, then I don't do this. But if it's something like pork or even turkey, I like to pre-season like I do my foil pack and put it in a freezer bag and then I mark it. I'll use a marker and I know what I have and I'm ready to go. So this one was marked garlic, which means I bought this plain and then I put a little bit of avocado or olive oil spray on it in the bag, salt, pepper, and then because I put garlic on this one, it means I did garlic seasonings. And then usually for me, I'll throw in some Italian seasonings. And I can see that I did that because I can see the green on there as well. So this is now thawed out. I have my crock pot on high and I'm going to cook this all day. I have a party to go to today and I'm going to let this cook all day while I'm gone so that I have something good when I get back. So I'm just going to do a little extra seasoning because it is going to cook so long in the crock pot. And I might do carrots later on with this. So I just want to have this very, very seasoned. I'm going to use a little bit of this red wine vinegar to help tenderize it. 
Now I know I've got salt and pepper on here already, so I'm gonna add a little bit of green goddess seasoning. You see me use that all the time. I buy it at Trader Joe's. I think you can also get it at Walmart, some version of it anyway, but I know they have it at Trader Joe's. And I'm also gonna add some granulated air-dried shallots. So if you've never tried a shallot, oh, that smells so good. If you've never tried a shallot before, the best way I can describe it is it tastes like a cross between onion and garlic. It's almost like if you just mixed garlic, onion, and garlic together, then you would have a shallot. That's what it tastes like to me. And then for sweetness, I'm gonna add a little bit of this ketchup flavored sprinkle. And I know that sounds weird, but just a little bit of it adds just a little bit of sweetness without all the sugar from ketchup. And I know I could use a sugar-free ketchup, but I don't want that much ketchup. And then just over the top, I'm gonna put a little bit more avocado oil on it. A few people have asked me why I'm using avocado oil instead of olive oil, and the reason is that it takes the heat a lot better. The smoke point on it is a lot higher, even though we're not going to have a smoke point at all, but it'll just, it works with the heat better. So I'm going to leave this on high for probably five hours or so.